Okay, are we on? Oh, tch. sorry. Um, shit. Um, I sorry. I was looking up a, a book for a friend. Um. Okay. <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, that but anyways. <sighs> I apologize. Sorry, I had to pause for a second. What's this video going to be about? And I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't want to make another video, but certain things have been coming out lately, and a lot of people have been centering themselves around a bunch of ridiculous idiotic news. And no, this ain't going to be my last Trump video. The truth be told, I talk about whatever the fuck I want to. And with me worried that this world is pretty much, or this country is pretty much done with, I'm going to get this stuff out before, you know, the shit hits the fan. And right now, the shit's hitting the fan. Other than the fact that they found out that, you know, Trump did have Russian connections, even though he said that they he didn't. And... You know, and some Muslim woman was saying that she lied, and now every anti SJW warrior has literally stuck to this news like glue, saying, uh, and, you know, saying that, look, Trump ain't going after all these women. And, sorry, just wanted to check something. But the reality is, is that Trump has had. Uh, what can I say? Trump has had businesses in the Middle East for years, and I've known he wasn't just going to kick all the uh, Middle Easterns out left and right, and that was, and, and yeah, he's just going to, and that whole Saudi Arabia money with Hillary Clinton. Well, it, you know, Saudi Arabia is just going to bite the bullet and start paying. Trump and Trump's gonna take the money. I mean, here you are, a guy thinking you didn't that you got some anti-establishment and a uh, guy, but really Trump is more establishment establishment than you think he is. Way more esta uh, establishment than anyone else I've ever seen. But and. Like I said, he is going to cancel all health forms of health care. As for the Mexicans, I don't know. I mean, most Republicans, including his little company, do use immigrants. He just, you know, he hides a couple of thousands and, you know, gives it to a couple of people to, so they will pretend, you know, they're not getting these immigrant, illegal immigrants. But I bet you a million to one, he's got immigrants working for him. And building that wall, and, and of course, Napla, as I said, ain't gonna go nowhere. He just wants the piece of that pie. That's all he wants. He he wants people to give him a piece of that pie. And like complete idiots, you morons gave it to him. Because you wanted your anti-establishment guy. Trump's just gonna do what all the other politicians do. Because Trump... Because businessmen and politicians are basically the same goddamn fucking person. And all he's going to do is just going to take a piece of that pie for himself. And you morons fell for it. And speaking of stupidity... Oh, well, this guy's... Now, as you know... Amazing Ace, has put up a video called Idiots React to, to Trump. And of course he sat there and and I left some responses. Some reasonable responses that actually make sense. Like Hillary did win the popular vote. And of course you can see right here on the side morons who don't know what they're talking about half the times. Or some of them. Give me a second on this one. First of all, I'm going to get to that Lacey Green stuff later. But let's get to this Stephen King right here. 
No, Stephen King should move to Canada. And, and, and you know, this guy is right now taking the task. All these people who got on Twitter and said nasty things about President Trump, and he's not taking his own viewers to task. Why? Why I know why. It's because he wants to keep his money. And they're his money train, so anything they say, no matter how fucking ridiculous they say it, is going to be right. And guess what they were saying? I mean, I know there's no way for me to zoom in on this. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Let's nuke Canada for us, please. And then they were saying, let's nuke Mexico. Mason Atheist, seriously, you're just going to let them go and say, say this because you want your cash. Here you are going around putting these people up for task on what they say, and when your own people say insane batshit crazy things like let's start World War 3 if we you know nuke Canada and that will bring out World War 3 because Canada is owned parts of Canada is still owned by the British and as well as the French and I don't think they're going to be very forgiving for us bombing their territories and uh, you know a, a good amount of their population I like I think it's mostly Brits who own Canada. It's basically French who live there. But yeah, let, let, let's bomb our own allied country that lives on top of us. And, and let's bomb New Mexico, which is right underneath us. Now, I had this thing that had some pretty good answers and I accidentally took it off but one of the main reasons why we don't bomb Mexico in, or Canada is even if these other countries were magically not going to attack us well let's just say the ensuing uh, fallout would create you know new uh, radiated flags I mean clouds that could you know bring about death in the giant orange spot in the middle of the fucking map. Which just happens to be us. Well, I'm going to go and take all these other stars to task, but when my own viewers are saying batshit crazy things under my own fucking video and saying let's nuke these countries that could, you know, also devastate our own country in so, so many god-awful ways you can't even imagine and make us look like fucking worse than, than tyrants. Yeah! I'm not going to put any of those people to task. Like, ever. In any sort of reason. I'm not going to say anything against them. Because... I'm going to prove myself right, and not, and my viewers are going to be right because they pay me a good large amount of money to say, let's bomb the two fucking countries that are on top of us and on the bottom of us and cause a global d d disaster that could kill our own country in the process. Not just, you know, the radiated cloud bed, but, you know, World War Three, And, of course, other countries just basically mad at us. I mean, Spain, even though they're no... I don't think they're involved in Mexico anymore, but they still kind of have a veg, an interest in Mexico. Yeah, we would be fighting France, Britain, Spain. Pretty much the entire EU... China. I mean, Russia will be on our side since they, they've already proven that they've communi that they're communicating with uh, uh, with Trump, and even now run around and brag. But yeah, we'll have Russia. 
until Russia ends up deciding to backstab us because, you know, we'll be losing horribly and... Of course, by that time, Russia will buy Alaska up there, that little orange spot on the side next to Canada. Fucking bomb. Seriously. And you're not saying a goddamn thing about it. Look. He didn't even reply to these people. I replied and told him. And... They just sat there and said even more ridiculous nonsense. They said, let's bomb Canada and then Mexico. Let's nuke them. I'm not making this shit up. It says it right there by Kyle Hurd. Let's nuke Canada. And he said it as a reply to... Oh, fearless leader, but mainly as a reply to the amazing atheist. The old amazing atheist would have literally gone in the conversation into the comment section of his own video and tell them you're batshit insane and seek professional fucking help. The new amazing atheist doesn't give a flying fuck. He's too busy owning all the SJW warriors who, by the way, are now all broken up and are all now battling each other. Because, you know, after Hillary lost the election, SJW is pretty much no more. But he's got to own the, all the SJWs along with Thunderfoot and the rest of them. And fuck what his own people are saying. Fuck the, his own group is literally saying, let's bomb, let's nuke Canada and Mexico. Fucking hypocrite. Look, I, I admit I'm not the smartest fucking person in the world. And, and yeah, I know if he comes up with a video, he'll just re give me some sort of bullshit reply on saying that, you know, or, or read off of some book like he did Coughlin 66 or whatever, and basically to make me out to look like a villain. And that we, and then it would probably be a good thing that we nuke fucking Canada and Mexico, and show those bastards. Even though the ensuing fallout could ruin half of the United States and in ways you will never imagine. <sighs> nuke Canada. <laughs> nuke Canada. And look, I know what Stephen King said was stupid. But it doesn't justify the scream, let's nuke Canada and Mexico. Or this. As you all know, yeah, this is from... Because Amazing Atheist was nice to put this in his video, of course. Lacey Green. Colin... <laughs> the president and everybody a bunch of fascists and racist, misogynistic pig shits. You know what's funny? I remember when uh, Thunderfoot put out a video a long time ago. And Thunderfoot was right. The video basically stated that there's this thing called freedom of speech. And in freedom of speech, you can say the most racist, hateful, bigoted things and mean it. Now, our freedom of speech is limited. Mostly in the workplace, though. You, you're basically not allowed to say nasty things about your boss, and then he has the legal right to fire your ass. That's where your freedom of speech is limited. Or like in the case of that one, uh, I can't remember her name, but the uh, Miss America, I believe, or the woman who was running for the Miss America contest, and she got disqualified because she wouldn't she, uh, say nice thing about gay people. And, of course, people defended her, not realizing that she had signed a contract and was under work, which basically means that her freedom of speech was pretty limited, and she signed away half of her free speech right there. When you sign that contract, sign away your free speech... You're done. 
you're basically saying what they want you to say. And it's legal. Do I agree with it? Yeah. I have to. <coughs> because you signed a fucking contract. It's your contract that you signed in your own writing and put your goddamn fucking name on. I mean, you signed the fucking contract, dumbass. Of course your free speech is going to be eliminated because you signed a fucking contract to eliminate it. How do you think that's going to fucking end when you get fired? <sighs> but yeah, people defended her and not realizing that, you know, she's the one who fucking signed the goddamn contract and got rid of her goddamn rights to say what she really wanted to be said. <sighs> she signed the fucking damn thing on paper. You moronic idiots. <sighs> I'm getting ahead of myself. But anyways... And you're allowed to say racist things. Which is why the KKK can still run around and march. And of course the skinheads can still say the crap they can say. But you also have the legal right to disagree with those bastards. I mean, and yes, you can go up to their face and disagree verbally. And you have the right to even call your own president whatever name you want to call them. And that's what leads me to Lacey Green because even though she had a bit of a psychotic attack, this is legal. Yeah, this is legal. And right now, people like Rezion right here are basically, and of course, Monday Matt are posting videos saying that she shouldn't say what she said. This is legal. There is something you can't say to, about the president, and that is you're not allowed to say you're going to kill them or you wish death upon them. You can get arrested for that. That, And I believe that was uh, put in the lobby somewhere along the Reagan administration, I believe. Uh, you know, whenever that Clint Eastwood film where he was a Secret Service agent came out, and that's when it basically became law. Cause it, but anyways, it does state, and, and it does go against the right to free speech, but it does state if you wish the president dead or that you want to kill the president, you can go to jail. Now, I'm just stating facts, and I'm allowed to state facts. And wishing the president dead or wanting to kill, or even joking about it, can lay in your ass in prison. Kiss you guys didn't know that part, did you? It's no joke. It's been in law for a long time. Well before Clinton. I know that. <laughs> but, see, the thing about allowing hate speech is that it's a double-bladed sword. You can spell any kind of hate speech. And you can say you don't like a candidate even after he gets elected. And if you sit there and say, like, well, give him a chance, you're kind of going against the whole free speech thing. Because, I mean, they have a right to disagree with you. And they have a right to say, well, if you're telling me to give him a chance, I'm going to tell you to go fuck off because I have that free right to tell you to go fuck yourself. You right bread and racist motherfucker. Because I have that right. I have the right to p be pissy at people. I mean, if I own a building and somebody uh, voted for Trump... And I kick those people out of my building because they voted for Trump and started, you know, being little assholes about it. I have the legal right to do that. Yeah, we have the legal rights to be complete dicks. And... <laughs> Yes, I mean, some of the things that these 
stars and people put up were pretty fucked up, but this lazy green thing here, it's legal. And she has every right to say it. And I am going to stand up with it because, speaking from a free speech point of view, I don't see any problems with this. Other than the fact that she was probably batshit insane when she had wrote it. But other than that, I don't really see any purpose to focus on it. It's just Lazy Green practicing her right to free speech and saying horribly negative things and calling the president a racist and... And I believe there was one more. Yeah. I think there was one more, but I can't find it. <clears throat> but, yeah. I can sit there and call the President of the United States a racist. I can call him the N-word. I can call him anything I fucking damn well want to. I can call him a jackrabbit if I wanted to. You know, I don't I don't know where these anti SJW people are going right now. They used to stand up for the whole free speech and the whole free thing free thinking thing. But then they got so caught up in their SJW ownerships that I think they forgot the basics of the whole free speech movement. Like, don't let your own people scream. Let's nuke Canada and Mexico for obvious reasons why that's a bad idea. And the most stupidest and batshit crazy things. Because they want to own all these SJWs who say batshit crazy things. But when their own people say it, they're going to bypass it and just ignore it. And, and then when somebody said something batshit crazy that is actually legal to say and then they end up mocking her over it okay that's legal too but then saying that she should shut the hell up when technically she doesn't have to and then telling everybody that they should just I mean yeah we have to accept that Trump's the president but we don't have to like it and but saying well you don't know what kind of president he'll be you don't know what kind of president he'll be neither amazing atheist and you don't have no right to tell us that and <laughs> <coughs> basically We do have the right to disapprove. And we do have the right to hack the butt hurt. And we do have the right to say this shit. And we can call the President of the United States any goddamn name we want to. We're just not allowed to say which death upon him or say you're going to kill him because that will get your ass in prison. Because free speech is somewhat limited, thanks to certain laws. I think I'm running out of time. See ya.